Hello everyone, this is Hitesh Sharma from Proving CS, where we give wings to your professional dreams. In this video, we'll be discussing current affairs questions from 21st September till 30th September. We start. Who has recently released the book Shining Sikh Youth of India? Answer is Rajnath Singh. The Union Defense Minister of India has recently launched a book Shining Sikh Youth of India. In New Delhi, as a part of commemoration of 400th birth anniversary of Guru Tegh Bahadur, the ninth Guru of Six, the book has been authored by Dr. Prabhleen Singh, Administrative Officer at the Punjabi University Patiala. It covers 100 inspirational and motivational success stories of Sikh youth in India who has done exemplary work in their respective fields. Who has recently topped? ICC women's batting rankings. Answer is Indian captain Metali Raj. She has recently topped ICC women batting rankings. Next, recently the International Monetary Fund has banned the funds given to which country? Answer is Afghanistan. Who has been announced the next Air Force Chief? Answer is Vivek Ram Chaudhary. He will take the uh, board on 30th September 2021. Next, recently OECD, a very important question. Recently, OECD has projected India's growth rate to be what percent in financial year 2022? Answer is 9.7%. Remember this, OECD ne India ka growth rate kitna project kiya hai? Answer is 9.7 percent. Aage ek aur question hai. Usme dusre financial form ne India ka kya growth rate predict kiya hai? Uske baare mein hai. So OECD aaya. So answer is 9.7 percent. Who has become the first player to play 200 matches for a team of IPL? Single franchisee. Ke liye 200 matches khelne wale. First player is Virat Kohli. He has played 200 matches for a single franchisee of IPL, which is Royal Challengers Bangalore. Who has been appointed as a new president of All India Management Association recently? Answer is C.K. Ranganathan. C.K. Ranganathan, Chairman and Managing Director, Kevin Care Private Limited, has been appointed president of All India Management Association for a period of one year till the National Management Convention is held in September 2022. Ranganathan takes over from Harsh Pati Singhania, Vice Chairman and Managing Director, J.K. Paper Limited, All India Management Association is a statutory body for the regulation and licensing of management profession in India. So answer is C.K. Ranganathan. Which country has recently launched India's Covishield vaccine? Very important question expected in November CSEED examination. Which country has recently launched India's Covishield vaccine? Answer is Italy. The Indian Embassy in Rome has announced today that after a meeting held between the Minister of Health of India, Mansuk Mandria, and his Italian counterpart, Roberto Speranza, the Italian Ministry of Health has decided to recognize Indian-made vaccine Covishield as valid proof of immunity. Now, the citizens of India, if they want to travel in Italy for any purpose, be it tourism, be it their business purposes, they can enter Italy if they have taken Covishield as their vaccination. Who has become the first Indian batsman to score 10,000 runs in T20 format? Again, a very important question. Answer is Virat Kohli. Next. Recently, RBI has imposed a monetary penalty of rupees 2 crores on which bank? Answer is RBL Bank. Reserve Bank of India on 27th September imposed a monetary penalty of 2 crores on RBL Bank for contravention of former's direction on Reserve Bank of India, interest rate on deposits. On log ne jo RBI ke regulations hai, RBI ke guidelines hai, uske against kuch kaam kiya hai. RBI ne unko proof of hearing bhi diya tha ki aap humko proof karke do ki hum aapke upar penalty kiyo na lagai. Phir wo jo unho ne validations diya, wo RBI ko acceptable nahi tha. So hence RBI decided to impose a penalty of 2 crores. Next. Which country, very important question again, has been chosen as the most outstanding company in India in the survey conducted by Asia Money? Answer is HDFC Bank. Over 10 
seven zero fund managers, analysts, bankers, rating agencies voted the bank also poll number one among banks in India for fourth year in a row. HDFC Bank Limited has been voted overall most outstanding company in India in a poll conducted by reputed publication Asia Money. The poll known as Asia's Outstanding Companies poll is designed to acknowledge listed companies that have excelled in areas such as financial performance, management team excellence, investor relations, and CSR initiative. When is International Sign Day language celebrated? Answer is 23rd September. Next, again, a very important question from sports. Who has become the highest paid footballer in 2021? First, it was Lionel Messi. Now it is Cristiano Ronaldo. Manchester United's new signing. Manchester United's newest signing, Cristiano Ronaldo, has replaced six-time Ballon d'Or winner Lionel Messi as the worst, world's highest paid footballer in the latest rankings released by Forbes. The Portuguese superstar is said to make $125 million. In Indian currency, it is 92 crores approximately in 2021-22 season before taxes. Ronaldo is said to earn 51 crores approximately in Indian currency from his salary and bonuses at Old Trafford, according to American Business Magazine. He will also pocket an estimated 40 crores from commercial deals. Cristiano Ronaldo is the highest paid footballer in 2021. Which country has banned the broadcast of Indian Premier League, IPL, which is recently going on in Dubai? Bangladesh. Nahi, answer is Afghanistan. Afghanistan has banned the broadcast of IPL. Next, recently, now again, upar tha OECD, niche hai ADB. Recently, ADB has estimated India's growth rate to be what percent in the financial year 2022? Answer is 10%. So, if this same question exam mein aata hai, so you have to mark none of this because ADB has estimated India's growth rate to be 10%. And option C is 10.2%. So answer is none of this. Where will be the first edition of Himalayan Film Festival 2021 be held? Again, a very important question. Answer is Ladakh. Next, filmmakers from all the Himalayan states, union territories such as Ladakh, Jammu Kashmir, Uttarakhand, Himachal Pradesh, Sikkim, Assam, Meghalaya, Manipur, Mizoram, Tripura, Himalayan region, Valley regions, Arunachal Pradesh, Nagaland are eligible to take part in the contest which will be held in Ladakh from 24th to 28th September. The aim of the competition section is to recognize local, local talent in short and documentary filmmaking, provide opportunities to connect to the sparsely located filmmaking community of the Himalayas through networking and collaborative projects, provide an opportunity to explore the works and perspectives of other filmmakers, to build an audience for the work of filmmakers, to develop the skill of filmmaking using minimal efficient resources, locating young and fresh talent in filmmaking in the Himalayan region of India, center staging the filmmaking process and in incentivizing local talent to pursue a career in filmmaking. So Himalayan Film Festival, the first edition will be held in Ladakh. So this was uh, the video of uh, current affairs MCQ's questions from 21st September to 30th September. Thank you everyone.